Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this electronic kitchen scale has a maximum weighing capacity of 5 kilograms or 11 pounds and it can do so in grams, milliliters, ounces, pounds or kilograms. It does have an LCD, tear function as well as resolution of a gram or 0.1 ounce. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box by popping off the flap here and go ahead and sliding out the contents from the box and then just making sure that we've emptied the box entirely so contents out we can set the box to the side and of course, let me just set the contents out on the tabletop right here so you can see what we've just removed from the box. Okay, so this is the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. Let's go ahead and first take a look at this card here. So there is a thank you card and a way of getting in touch with the Art Premier VIP program right there. Okay, we can go ahead and set that to the side. And then moving on to the electronic kitchen scale itself, or digital kitchen scale. And there appears to be a, another sheet of paper. So making sure that we've emptied out and displayed everything neatly across the tabletop right here. So resetting the tabletop right there okay so we've seen the card we can slide it to the top left here just leave it there and then moving on to the instruction manual so there is an instruction manual for the art premiere digital kitchen scale so it's just eight single sheet eight folded sheet with some instructions okay now we can go ahead and set that to the side. Now moving on to the scale itself. Over here, you can see that it is wrapped in plastic. So let's go ahead, slide that plastic off to reveal the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. So you can see that it does have a blue protective film on it, which I'll remove in just a moment. I've been told before from my other kitchen scale reviews that I should be removing the plastic film from most of the products that I that I unbox in my videos. So in this case, it's simple enough. I will remove this one in just a moment, but just giving you an all round look fresh out of the box and plastic wrapper. Okay, so this is the moment where I peel back the plastic film over here. So thankfully there is a grippy edge here. So that some of you might enjoy this sound as I peel it off, so I'm just going to go quiet right now. And right there, the film comes completely off, revealing a very nice brushed surface right there. Okay, so nice and shiny and brushed surface for the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. And in terms of size, fits in the palm of my hand right there. So just trying to get the reflection from the ceiling light away. And now I'm just going to play a bit with the light just to show you the highly brushed surface. So nice and finely brushed. And once again, taking you through a nice close up look at the digital kitchen scale from Art Premiere. So side profile as well, just to show you the thickness of the scale. And hopefully we can get some form of focus along the side right there. So momentary focus right there. If I bring it closer, so you have some idea of the thickness of the kitchen scale. Okay, and the front as well. 
showing you the front edge. And of course, the opposite side and the back of the scale. And of course, the underside as well. So on the side, you can see that there is a central compartment there, which more than likely will be the compartment for where the batteries go. Okay, so it is a very light scale with a nice brushed finish. So it is quite cool to the touch, or actually cold to touch because of the metal finish. So it is metal with a very nice finely brushed finish, very consistent as you can see the light just play against the surface there. High quality finish right there. And then of course, going to show you the screen as well. So there is an LCD of course, and there is a plastic film on it. So we're gonna peel that off in a second as well because it's creating quite a bit of reflection right there. I'm gonna peel it off right now so you can listen to it, hear that peeling sound off from that LCD right now. So nice and quick, it comes off, showing you the LCD there. And right below it, it's showing maximum weighing capacity of 5,000 grams or five kilograms. Okay, and on the left button, there is an on off, zero or tear, and on the right, the unit of measure. And those clicks sound very, very direct, very precise. Very sharp sounding, so no mistaking there when you press the buttons. Okay, so nice, good look at the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. So nice and finely brushed and very light indeed. So let's pop the battery compartment open and of course put some batteries in there. And you can see it does have four corners in which it measures the weight, okay, and just popping open the battery compartment. So it does take two AA batteries, okay, just showing you right there. I beg your pardon, two AAA batteries. So it does take two AAA batteries, so they're the small, thin ones, and I do have two AAA batteries which are the Amazon Basics pre-charge rechargeable batteries, which I've unboxed in previous video. Okay, so let's pop them in. Of course, just gonna give you another look at the rechargeable batteries right there. So they are the Amazon Basics pre-charge rechargeable AAA batteries, which I've unboxed in a much, much earlier video on my channel. So there we go. Pop those batteries in and you can see that screen light up straight away at the bottom. And we can pop the battery cover back on. So it's nice to see that it is non-marking as well, given that my fingers are slightly greasy. The marks do relatively well by not showing up. Okay, and let's set the scale down so you can see what's happening. And of course we should zero the weight. So it's showing 230 grams right now. Gonna give you a close up look to the definition of that LCD there. Okay, nice and sharp, very legible. And setting the weight, uh, the digital scale down and remember it does measure from all four corners so a nice flat surface is required okay and let's zero the weight by pressing on the zero button on the left so you can see that it's now been reset to zero and if we press the unit of measure you can see we do have ounces milliliters pounds ounces and grams. So I'm gonna bring the screen right up as I toggle through 
the different units of measure or weight units ounces milliliters pounds ounces and grams so nice and simple and of course we can reset it as again or turn it off by holding on to the button for a few more seconds and turning it back on again and setting the skill back down of course we may need to zero it again so let's switch it back to grams to as the weighing unit and resetting the scale right there and things you could measure up to five kilograms on this scale so very very capable scale here given that it's pretty small can of course put a banana on it and see what kind of weight this banana has so 125 grams is the weight of this banana and we can toggle the weight while the banana is still on it so you can see showing the different weight units on it okay so 124 grams is the weight of this organic banana that I have here in my hand okay now let's try weighing something else. How about this 100 gram pack of green and black organic chocolate with almonds. So the gram does advertise as, or the packet does advertise as 100 grams. Let's see if we can get close to that weight showing on that screen there. So let's plonk it down and it's 108 grams. So pretty, pretty good indeed, definitely. Uh, 8 grams could account for the wrapper for the chocolate bar inside of it. Okay, so place it again. 108 grams again. And just see, 107 grams now. So there is a very slight discrepancy, of course, but a 1 gram discrepancy, it's very much fine. 107 grams right there. Okay, so nice and consistent weighing right there and we can set that to the side and why not measure something super light here so I do have a little hazelnut in my hand still in its shell there so three grams right there for a little hazelnut and why not measure something else I do have a pound coin as well how much do you think this pound coin weighs? Let's find out. Will it weigh more than a hazelnut? So the hazelnut is three grams. We've just measured that. Or four grams now. It's gone up in weight. Okay, so four grams is the more accurate representation for this hazelnut. Let's place it back down again. Right, four grams for the hazelnut. So now let's go ahead and find out how much this pound coin weighs. So do you think it's heavier or lighter? Let's find out. And it is more than double the weight of the hazelnut at nine grams. So nine grams is the weight of this British pound coin here, newly circulated pound coin this year. Okay. So nine pounds, or beg your pardon, nine grams for this pound coin right here. So doubling the weight, or doubles in weight of the hazelnut. So that's the Art Premier Digital Kitchen Scale. Thanks for watching and happy weighing.